Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a plan with me. Here I am showing you guys my St. Patty's Day spread which was last week but this week we are planning the 23rd through the 29th. So I'm going to be using a kit from Caress Press. She is no longer um, available or she's like her, her shop closed down because I think she's on like maternity leave or something like that. But this is one of her mystery kits. I can't remember what the mystery kit is. I think it's June or something like that, June or July. It was a summer mystery kit that I got last year. And I chose to use this kit because it is a pretty full kit, even though I used to get the mini kit. It's got a lot of pages and a lot of full boxes. And I am planning on not only using this in the recollections planner, but also in my print pressions daily. Now, it was my plan to show you guys how I planned this in the, um, I'm just going to call it the, um, Erin Condren planner because uh, sometimes I forget that it's a recollections and it's still I still kind of plan like the Erin Condren vertical like format style and um, I was originally going to show you guys how I planned in here I was going to do a sped up version and a voiceover while I kind of laid down the base which is you know the headers and the full boxes and all that fun stuff and then I was going to do like a live plan with me as I went through like day by day, so no voiceover. And finally, I was gonna show you guys how I use the leftovers from the kit to plan in my print pressions daily. But things don't go as planned, so I'm just doing a voiceover for this video. So I hope you guys still enjoy it. I do plan on doing a voiceover for the next, or a voiceover per portion for the background and then a kind of live plan with me as I go through the day for hopefully next week's video. But we'll see how that works out. So I haven't posted in a bit. Uh, hopefully, not hopefully, but some of you may have noticed that I haven't posted in a bit. And that's because life got a little crazy. So I am in the full-time portion of the internship. I am student teaching right now. For those of you who don't know, I am a, um, a currently an undergraduate student to be a chemistry teacher, a high school chemistry teacher. And this is the end of the um, like the degree where you do like the internship portion of it. And I am in the school full time. So I've taken over responsibility of being, you know, the main teacher in the classroom. And I've, I've been in the classroom pretty much full time since about the beginning of December of last year. But with everything that's going on, um, schools in Maryland right now are shut down until like April 27th. There's rumors that um, they may close the school year and do it completely online until the end of the year, like the school year. D.C. or Virginia's already done that, but Maryland hasn't done that yet, but it's probably going to happen. So I'm kind of in limbo right now. Um, my school doesn't really have the capabilities to um, get or make all of the students have access to, to some type of online teaching. So my mentor teacher and I, we didn't really prep anything or we weren't really able to prep anything for the students for the next two weeks. But I, like I said, I'm kind of in limbo. I'm waiting to hear what they're going to do, what they're gonna have us interns do because we do have like X amount of credit hours that is required by the state in order to be um, a student teacher and I don't really know what the state's going to do with respect to making sure I have those hours or if they're just going to like cut down the amount of like like hours for the requirement to be a certified teacher. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, UMBC, my university, is fully online right now for the rest of the semester. So we're kind of, you know, working virtually with, um, you know, our teachers and the, the administrators for the, like the education department. So... We'll see. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. And if you're interested about anything um, with respect to like the certification process and how I like teaching with high school students, like how I like teaching high school students, um, leave me a comment down below and I'll make sure I answer any questions in the next plan with me. 
But yeah, so far I have laid down my entire base. So I chose to do like that double box on Saturday and Sunday. And then I kind of scattered the rest of the full boxes. I put in the checklists for the um, the bottom washi. I chose to use the, um, I think it's like a 15 millimeter um, like bottom washi strip from um, Scribble Prints Co. And then I used a like Stardust washi from Simply Gilded. Um, because this was a B6 kit, so it didn't really come with like a full Erin Condren bottom washi. And then I choose to use like a variety of different foiled overlays. So I had one from like Simply Watercolor Co. that said Hello Gorgeous. I had a few from Scribble Prints Co. I had one left over from like a Station Stickers kit. Um, I had one from like a freebie that I chose to frame the girl on Friday. And then I used these little corner overlays um, from Scribble Prints Co. to kind of just frame that little double box area. The covers, the date covers I'm using is from a company, Sophie Rose Paper Shop, but she is no longer open um, because she is a graduate student. She just didn't have the time this semester to um, open up her shop or reopen her shop. I also chose to use these header overlays from Girl Boss Anna, but they aren't perforated. I sped it up for you guys so you see, you know, how quickly I put it on. It's about like 20 seconds, but this thing took me like five minutes to cut each individual header and, um, I don't know. I just don't, I didn't really like it. Uh, I may not even cut it. I may just go like a straight line across next time. Um, but it was a lot of work cutting those individual headers down. All right. So let's go day by day. So I use a lot of the boxes and like the little things, honestly, from the kit. I normally don't use little things from the kit, but I chose to use a lot of them this week because I am trying to be productive while quarantined. Um, so I Monday I marked that I wanted to post on Instagram. I also marked that I wanted to clean my desk. So I am filming parts of my hauls on Sundays. And then on Mondays or Tuesdays, I go in and just like clean and organize all of the stickers and just kind of do like a fresh cleaning up of my desk. The Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale is going on right now. So I've gone through and marked for the next 21 days um, which items I'm interested in purchasing. So I marked on Monday that I want to go in and purchase something from Ulta. I put a little like bow paper clip to remind myself to change the background for my desk. And then I went ahead and marked um, Coffee Monday. And that script is from Sophie Rose Paper Shop. Most of the icons that I'm using are actually the little deco or the icons that came with the kit. I wanted to utilize as much as the kit as possible. Tuesday, I marked that I have a virtual meeting with my education department. And then I put a little flag from the kit with a computer icon to mark that I wanted to edit videos, edit a whole bunch of videos because I did a lot of filming this weekend. Um, and my goal is to post a video a week. So hopefully I can uh, keep that goal this week. Then I marked that I wanted to wash my hair with that little bathtub icon from the kit and that I wanted to film like a quarterly flip through. I have recently changed, some of you may or may not have noticed, but I changed from a horizontal format to a vertical format at the beginning of the year. Um, and I'm really liking this format, so I wanted to show you guys kind of what my planner has looked like um, since January. So I'm going to do, like I said, a quarterly fit through of my planner. On Wednesday, I marked again that I wanted to post another Instagram post. My goal was to post at least three times this week. Um, I marked a Planner Kate release because Planner Kate has been, um, or she normally releases every, has like new releases every Wednesday. And I've been really liking her, her things. And I really like going in on Wednesday and just adding a few things into my cart. And once I get enough things in my cart, then I go ahead and purchase. So normally like t about 10 sheets is my like, go ahead and purchase, um, from Planner Kate. And then I also marked editing, more editing on Wednesday cleaning up my cat litter and doing a manicure on Wednesday, um, which may not happen because I already did a manicure today. So moving on to Thursday, again, I marked um, purchasing something from Ulta and that it was trash day. And then I kind of moved on to Friday because I don't really have much 
that I have planned for Thursday. So on Friday, I put time to plan and I put like a half box. I'm trying to film the plan with me's on Friday so I have enough time to edit it over the weekend and hopefully post a plan with me every single Sunday. And I also marked on Friday that I wanted to write to my pen pal and then I marked game night with this script again from Sophie Rose Paper Shop. And at first I had used the little uh, D20 sticker from Honey Inked, but I just decided to change it and put some munchkins down instead because um, I had used like a black D20 and um, like a non-foiled one and it just, it was too dark for this kit. So I chose to mark, or I started on the bottom on Saturday, and I marked a, um, a Gloomhaven session with a gold foil D20, and then I marked uh, washing my hair again on Saturday, because I am trying to wash my hair every three days now to keep my curls nice and healthy, and then editing a video um, with a flag from the kit and a laptop from Hello Petite Paper, and then I, um, I had originally had plans to do something on Saturday so I went ahead and put like a quarter label with that little coffee cup thing but I ended up leaving that blank because I wasn't sure if I was going to still have those plans um on Saturday so I just kind of like left that label there blank and then moving into Sunday I marked another Ulta purchase on Sunday those little money um icons those are leftovers or not leftovers those are from a Scribble Prints Co like sampler and I've really been enjoying using them throughout the spreads to mark um, when I'm going to be purchasing from Ulta. I'm using up a lot of those little icons for my leftover sticker book. Sunday, I also want to do some laundry, post on Instagram, and then uh, do a little budget, a little bit of budgeting um, just to tally up how much I spent in the week. So yeah, that is my completed spread. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. And um, hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.